Hello, you guys. <laughs> this is our... Okay, so yeah, sorry, my video cut off. But what I was saying is, I stayed at the La Moana for five nights and I visited the Thalasso. So, no, I did not stay at the Thalasso, but I had a day pass and I feel like I got a good um, understanding of the pros and cons. So I just kind of wanted to talk, I wrote some things down, and I just kind of want to explain in case you guys are having a hard decision deciding between the two. I can't speak on the other ones. Um, I obviously know the Four Seasons and the St. Regis are the nicest, and I asked my jet ski guide which one he liked better and he said the St. Regis. So there's that. Um, but yeah, these are on the intercontinental ones and I just wanted to explain the pros and cons. So starting off too, I also wanna mention that the Thalassa is a five star um, certified hotel and the Le Moana is four star. So just in that sense right there, the Thalassa is gonna be more expensive, better service and obviously nicer amenities and everything. So. I'm not gonna include those in the pros and cons because it's pretty obvious, um, but I wanted to speak on all the other things that might sway your decision because um, when we, we booked through Costco, and when we booked, I can't remember, but the Thalasso maybe was either, like, I cannot remember, but it might have been like 600 to 1,000 more per person for five nights, so about 100 to $200 more a day, so I mean, if you're trying to save money, for sure, go to the cheaper one, but if you're just deciding between the two and money's not really um, like in your mind first off, then um, hopefully this video will help. So, I just wanted to kind of touch on each other. So, you can use each of them for free. Um, there is a boat that goes back and forth multiple times a day that will take you. Um, if you are at the Thalasso, you can come to the Le Moana for free, back and forth for free. If you're at the Le Moana though, you have to pay $25 per person to go there and then back is free, so $25. Um, unless you use the gym, because there's a gym at the Thalasso, um, then you can get like a, f a free pass, but I think there's some stipulations with that. Ask the friend desk. But what we did is we booked a spa treatment, so we got a free transfer over there and back. So those are, that's the tip on that. So you can go back and forth to either each other, but it's just a matter of if you want to have to do that. Um, so for the Thalasso, I'll start with that. So they do have a spa. So that is the perk. Um, the Le Moana does not, but like I said, you can book with either or, but they do have the spa on site. Um, it's also more resort-like, I would say. It's bigger. Uh, it's It definitely reminds me more of a resort feel if you're liking that. Um, you know, so just heads up, it's bigger um, and all that. So it does also have a gym which the Le Moana doesn't, but like I said, you can go back and forth, so it's really like, um, whatever. But the gym, I don't think is super nice. I think I saw, I did not visit it while I was there, but I saw some pictures and it's pretty like a basic, like nothing, nothing fancy or anything, but they do have a gym there. And um, the other thing I would say about the Thalasso is it has a better mountain view. Both resorts have the view of the mountain, and I can never remember, it's Mount something, but both have a view of it, but I would say that the Thalassos is a little better. It's kind of more like centered on it, and you can see, it. I don't, it's beautiful. The pictures are beautiful there. Um, and at the Le Moana, it's a little it's a little more off to the side, but it's still there, so I would just say better mountain view of the Thalasso. Um, now onto the Le Moana. So the perks about the Le Moana is it's on the main island of Bora Bora, so if you, I'll just use this water bottle. Like this is the main island, and then there's like um, a line or like a strip of land that circles it where a lot of the other hotels are. So like uh, the Le Moana is like right here, and the Thalassa is like out here on the strip. If that makes sense, that's such a bad. I need some water. Ah, no Fiji, but this is the Bora Bora water. Okay, um, so it's on the main island, which the perks of that is. You're right on the main island. It definitely is more authentic. Um, you can kind of hang out with, not hang out with the locals, but you just feel more intertwined with the locals. Um, you can visit other restaurants super easily on the island, which I'm gonna do a vlog on the restaurants we visited. Um, so that's just, it's more just um, authentic a little bit. So uh, I, the resort here also is a little, Le Moana is a little bit older. 
and so the huts are a little more outdated but they're smaller and they just more it just seems more authentic in all senses um, it's smaller so like I said with the Thalassa it's a resort like this one is much smaller they do have three they have two restaurants here and um, a pool it's still like a mini resort but it's definitely smaller which there's pros and cons to that obviously like if you like a smaller resort feel then this would be perfect honestly and like I said it's more authentic a little bit is what I get the vibe with um, there is a better beach here I believe the water at both places is both crystal clear I think the beach in the lagoon here is better though it seems to be more shallow the other one seemed very deep. We did not go swimming in it, but it seemed very deep where the bungalows were. But right here, like the water only goes up to our waist. Um, the water might be a little bit calmer at the Thalasso, but it's it's very calm here too. And it's the crystal blue um, water. And I think our beach is better. It's a little bigger and I believe it's better too. Just personal preference. Um, and then the last thing about the Le Moana is you get a view of the sunset over the water. Not at the resort, but if you just walk like literally a minute outside of the resort lobby, you're on Matera Beach, which is like one of the world's famous, most famous beaches, and you can watch the sunset over the water. At the Thalasso, you probably see the sunset go over the mountain maybe. I don't know, I didn't see it, but you do see the true sunset over the water here at this resort, which is really cool too. Um, but like I said, at the Thalasso, you can come and go. So like really either, honestly, what it probably would come down to is price this is definitely cheaper um and honestly when I was booking I don't remember I think we ended up booking this one because it was on the main island and I just liked I liked the thought of being on the main island now next time I come would I probably stay at the Four Seasons Intercontinental and the Lasso probably just because we'll probably be older and maybe able to go on a nicer um vacation but I mean it was very nice here too so no complaints honestly but it probably honestly does come down to money and I would also say if you like ease, I don't know, it just really comes down to if you like if you want to indulge in the local local culture and food, come to Le Moana. And if you don't, if you like that more resort relax spa, you know, just go to the Falasso and stay there. I just don't really always love the thought of like using the uh, ferry to come back and forth. I mean it's about a 20 minute boat ride and it's on a time schedule. I just don't like to have like um, timelines, you know what I mean? So if you're really just looking for a relaxed Bora Bora vacation, go to the Thalasso. If you're wanting to like kind of dive into the local culture, come to the Le Moana. That's what I would ultimately put it down to and price. So price and just how you how you like to um, spend your vacations. So I hope that helped you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and if any resort you say it's gonna be beautiful, but I would research it because when we jet skied around the island, I noticed that some bungalows were not over like crystal clear water. I mean, it's still beautiful blue water, but it wasn't crystal clear and it seemed like rockier or rougher, but both the lasso, both intercontinentals I can say have great beaches, great water and all the jazz, all that jazz, but just do your research. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to answer them. Um, I'm on my like balcony right now, but I'm gonna send you off with a view of the water. So let's go. Oh, it's so beautiful, you guys. Sorry, the exposure is probably gonna be crazy. It's sunny and blue right now. Okay, look at this. You guys see it? It's beautiful, and here's the mountain back there, if you can see that. It's covered with some clouds right now. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys found this helpful. And um, like and subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye.